Thank you for watching the Fire Ice Air Tanker Mixing and Loading Training video. In this short video, you will learn the basics of mixing and loading Fire Ice product using a standard single engine air tanker support trailer, although the concepts will be the same for fixed air tanker base operations. To mix Fire Ice, very minimal equipment and modification is required. To start, ensure that you have the proprietary Fire Ice high volume eductor as shown here. The Fire Ice high volume eductor comes standard with 2.5 inch NH fittings, so adapters may be required to retrofit the existing equipment. The discharge on the adductor is male, and the supply side of the adductor is a female swivel. The Fire Ice high volume eductor comes with two pickup hoses with cam lock connections, as shown here. Additional pickup hoses are available to purchase from Geltech Solutions. Recommended PPE for using fire ice are gloves, safety goggles, and a respirator mask. The fire ice high volume reductor requires a trash pump with minimum specifications of 3 inches and 390 GPM to run effectively. The 4 inch pumps are preferred when possible. If your pump does not meet the minimum specifications, please contact your fire ice representative for additional information on other size eductors. The eductor must be mounted on the discharge side of the pump. This demonstration shows how the eductor can be temporarily plumbed using a 3 inch gated Y. It is recommended that whenever possible, the eductor is hard plumbed to the plumbing, such as these examples. The eductor should always be mounted to recirculate into the tank never on the load hose for direct filling. Direct filling is not recommended without consultation with a fire ice representative. To begin, always be sure to prepare the fire ice buckets by first tipping them over. This helps loosen the powder from any compaction during shipping. Please note that this demonstration uses clear fire ice as an example, but the concepts remain the same for both fire ice HVOF and fire ice HVBF. Once the buckets have been loosened, open the bucket using the pull tab on the lid. It is not recommended that you open buckets prior to immediate use. Prior to starting the pump, ensure that the recirculation valves on the mix tank are open. It is extremely important to ensure that the ball valve on the suction port of the adductor is closed before flowing water. It is important that the suction hoses remain dry. It is recommended that the mix tank first be loaded fully with plain water prior to mixing powder. Once the pump is started and water is recirculating in the mix tank, throttle the pump to maximum capacity to ensure maximum flow rate. The ball valve on the suction port of the adductor should remain closed. Once the pump is running at full capacity, close any sparge valves so that 100% of flow is moving through the adductor. Slowly open the suction port ball valve. Before suctioning powder, ensure adequate vacuum by lightly cupping the end of the suction hose. If using a vacuum gauge, vacuum should be a minimum of 12 to 15 inches of mercury. Once there is vacuum, begin vacuuming powder out of the bucket by slightly stabbing the powder. Once vacuuming is complete, be sure to close the suction port ball valve before shutting down the pump for water flow. Fire ice quality control by viscosity using a standard marsh funnel. Marsh funnels are available from Geltech Solutions. Cover the spigot end of the marsh funnel with a finger. Using the sampling port hose on the high volume eductor, fill the marsh funnel all the way to the mesh screen at the top. Once it is full, turn off the sample port and get the marsh funnel cup. Be sure you have a stopwatch handy. With the marsh funnel full, simultaneously start your stopwatch and release flow with the gel from the funnel to the marsh funnel cup. Stop the stopwatch as soon as the gel reaches the line near the top of the cup. Fire Ice HVOF and Fire Ice HVBF should be between 36 and 38 seconds for effective air tanker gel. If the gel is too thin, recirculate the mixed tank and add additional powder. If the gel is too thick, recirculate the mixed tank and add additional water. This next section will review troubleshooting. Eductors are supplied with two hoses so there is always a backup hose during mixing operations. Should the pickup hose become clogged, close the ball valve and remove the cam lock hose. The pump can remain running and recirculating. Using a wire brush, pull the gel out of the hose until the clog is clear. More difficult clogs may require a plumbing snake to clear the clog. Once the hose clog is removed, 
or if there is a backup hose available, you must clean out the suction port before resuming. With the pump running at full throttle and water flowing through the adductor, open the suction port ball valve. Using the pipe cleaner, clear the suction port as thoroughly as possible. Once the suction port is clear, reattach the camlock suction hose to the suction port. Once the suction hose is attached again, open the ball valve and check for adequate vacuum. If the clog is cleared and vacuum exists, resume mixing operations. Thank you for watching the Fire Ice Air Tanker Mixing and Loading Training video. Should you have any additional questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to call 1-844-FIRE-ICE or you can visit us online at fireice.com. Thank you and good luck.